Hi booktube, my name is Crystal, also known as the Book Gypsy on Instagram, and today I'm doing my July book haul. So this month, uh, I definitely accumulated a lot more books than I thought I did. So let's just get to it. The first books, it's kind of like a series um, that I bought this month were the uh, Black Dagger Brotherhood. Uh, first three books in the series. I heard good things about it, but I also heard like not so good things about it. It's by J.R. Ward and she's written so many, like this series, I don't know if I'm making a mistake by buying this series. I don't know if I'm going to be so addicted that this is all I'm going to read. Uh, but I heard really good things about the story and the characters. Uh, apparently each book is about each brother that's in the brotherhood so I'm curious to see and they're very steamy so I'm excited to get into these usually I don't read books like this but I'm excited to check these out uh, it's about vampires kind of supernatural elements so kind of more right up my alley next up I have The Bird and the Blade by Megan Bannon this I had received in my bookie box subscription box and I never heard anything about it, but I read the description and I was like, this sounds pretty good. I can't really pronounce the character's name, but <laughs> um, Chip got kind of, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure, but I'll check this one out. I have two in the series. This is Labyrinth Lost and Bruja Born by Zoraida Cardova. Um, if you could see these. The covers are so pretty. That's really what drew, drew me in. And also it's about a witch and witches and uh, her family. And I really love reading stories like this. So I'm very excited to get into it. Next up, I have this UK edition of Vicious, which it's absolutely stunning. The cover and the inside. Vicious is one of my favorite books. V.E. Schwab, Victoria Schwab is my favorite author. I love everything she puts out. If you have not read Vicious or any of her other books, please check them out. You will not be disappointed. Let me just read the first paragraph to you in this book and let me know if you're hooked because when I first read this, I was like, I need to read this right now. Chapter one, last night, Merit Cemetery. Victor readjusted the shovels on his shoulder and stepped gingerly over an old half sunken grave. His trench billowed faintly, brushing the tops of tombstones as he made his way through Merritt Cemetery. Humming as he went, the sound carried like wind through the dark. It made Sydney shiver in her two big coat and her rainbow leggings and her winter boots as she trudged along behind him. The two looked like ghosts as they wove through the graveyard, both blonde and fair enough to pass for siblings, or perhaps father and daughter. Read it if you have not. Next up, I have something a little bit more lighthearted. I love books about bookshops, so I figured I checked out The Little Paris Bookshop by Nina George. This I had bought during a Prime Day on Amazon. It's about um, a bookshop in France where, in Paris, <laughs> where the owner prescribes books to people almost like medicine to help heal them. Uh, he's an apothecary of books. <laughs> Next up, I have a thriller. Um, I picked this up on Target because you know it was like one of those Target days where like you, you're bored so you have nothing else to do so you go to Target and you just find things to buy like socks and books and dog toys. <laughs> so um, I couldn't leave without a book so I picked this one up. I heard really good things about this as well. It's kind of like a single white female in a way. It's The Last Mrs. Parish by Liv Constantine. I don't really like to know much about my thrillers when I go into them. I kind of just want to figure it out on my own, so I try not to read the back of it. I just want to jump right in. Next up, I have Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman. This I heard amazing reviews on BookTube from all of you guys on BookTube. Um, so I want to check it out. It's about a girl who has social anxiety, and I have social anxiety, so I'm very excited to, to read this. Next up, from an author that I absolutely love. I follow him on Instagram. I love everything that he puts out. Um, 
and it's Lifelike by Jay Kristoff. This book is, it just sounds like a crazy. <laughs> I don't, the description is Romeo and Juliet meets Mad Max meets X-Men with a little bit of Blade Runner cheering from the sidelines. Like, what? Like, I can't wait to read this. It just sounds amazing. Next up, I have Hocus Pocus, the all-new sequel. This I bought also on Prime Day. This came rather fast and I was very excited about it. When I first heard about this, I was like, what? My sister and one of my very good friends, we dressed up as Sanderson sisters one Halloween when we went to Salem and we, people that were visiting Salem thought we were part of the attraction and they were taking photos with us the whole time. I'll have to post some pictures up of that and show you guys how well we did with that. Next up, I have from my Owl Crate unboxing, My Plain Jane from Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. Um, when I was younger, I read Jane Eyre, and I really loved the story from what I remember. But that was more than 10 years ago, so I would really like to read Jane Eyre first before I got into this one. But this is a highly anticipated read for me this year. I love the deckled edges of this book and the colors. Owl Crate did an amazing job with the colors. This is like... Amazing. I love it. Next up, I had gone to Barnes & Noble on a whim, which is like every day. <laughs> and I had come across these, which are, I don't know if they're real leather, but they're very like floppy, which I love. Copies of classics and the, the pages are dyed and it comes with a uh, bookmark. I really love Dracula. Dracula, oh my gosh. I read this, I want to say in sixth grade, which was like centuries ago. And I remember being in music class reading this and my music teacher comes over and says to me, do you even know what you're reading right now? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, Dracula. And he's like, I think that's a little too advanced for your grade. And I was like, no, I got it. So I really, you know, this was my first like real vampire book that I read and I love this story. It's a classic. And then the next one I have is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass, both in this beautiful cover and this light blue edges. And oh, it's just so beautiful. So I have these out on display in my room. Pictures, it's just gorgeous. And I love how it's like floppy. Ooh, hello, that's gorgeous too have this beauty which is Edgar Allan Poe's classic stories it's not his complete works but it's a bunch of classics in here and I really love the cover of this as well I mean the beating heart it's just oh, so beautiful and then the back has a nice little quote and the, the pages are also dyed gray and the spine I can't wait to put this in my like library one day in my own house so excited. Lastly, I had gotten Meddling Kids. Um, this book, I don't really know much about. I know Kit, it's kind of like Scooby-Doo meets, I want to say it in kind of a way. I'll read the back for you. In 1977, four teenagers and a dog, Andy the tomboy, Nate the nerd, Carrie the bookworm, Peter the jock, and Tim the Weimaraner. I'm assuming it's the dog. <laughs> Solve the mystery of Sleepy Lake. The trail of an amphibian monster terrorizing the quiet town of Blythen Hills led the gang to spend a night in Deboin Mansion and apprehend a familiar culprit, a bitter old man in a mask. Now in 1990, the 20-something former teen detectives are lost souls. Played by night terrors and Peter's tragic death, the three survivors have been running from their demons. When the man they apprehended all those years ago makes parole, Andy tracks him down to confirm what she's always known, they got the wrong guy. Now she'll need to get the gang back together and return to Blayton Hills to figure out what really happened in 1977. And this time she's sure they're not looking for another man in a mask. A mad scientist concoction of HP Lovecraft, teen detectives, and a love of Americana Edgar Quintero's meddling kids is a story filled with rich horror, thrilling twists, outright hilarity, and surprising poignancy. There you go. I'm actually really excited to read this now that I know what it's about. So that's it for my July book haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope 
you guys are reading this month. I hope everybody is up on their challenges. If any of you have read any of these books and you want to give me your opinions on them, just write them down below in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. Like and subscribe down below and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!